Hi, it's Phil from Teach Blend, and today we're going to look at Microsoft Teams and how we can manage notifications. So sometimes if we're in a lot of Teams, notifications can sometimes become a bit overwhelming and there might be too many. Also, it might be that you're getting less notifications and actually you want to enable some. So this video will look at how we can manage notifications not only on our desktop device but also our mobile device and have a look at some top tips to make sure we stay informed. I hope you find it useful. So the first thing we're going to do is look at status messages. So click your profile picture and then you can choose whether or not you're available or not or if you're busy. And you can also set a status message as well. Now this is really useful if you need a bit of a wait time from Teams, you're not wanting to be disturbed or you're out of the office if you're on leave for example. Next thing you can do is also click into settings and then navigate to notifications and in here you'll get an array of notification options based on what you want to turn on or off and you can also choose what type of notifications you get and this is really useful just to manage the notifications. It might also mean that you're missing some notifications so you want to give them priority. So to do this just click settings and then choose notifications. There is a couple of other options in the team itself. So if you click on a team and then go into a channel, choose channel notifications. Here you can now edit the settings in the notifications for those particular channels as well. So this is really useful if you've got an important channel or if a channel is becoming a little bit overwhelming with too many notifications that you want. Also turn off channel mentions and reset back to default. So I'm just going to click save. Let's have a look at the mobile app. So to do this, you'll need to click on the three lines, the waffle menu, and you can also choose your status. You can choose whether or not you're available or not, and also set a status message directly in the mobile application, which again is really useful and it will save you from having to reply to people if you're away. You can also navigate to notifications and turn off notifications. A top tip is quiet hours. Now this is available on the mobile applications and it allows you to set when you want to be notified on your mobile device. And you can also set quiet days, which again is useful to turn it off for a full day. The next option is probably my favorite, which is to turn off notifications when you are on the web app or desktop app. So this means that your phone will not give you notifications when you are using the desktop app and you can work and be productive. But then if, for example, you need to leave your computer, it will know that you have left your computer and start pushing the notifications through to your mobile device. Within notifications, you can also turn off various things that you will be notified on. So, for example, incoming calls, mentions and chats. Also choose how your phone will notify you. So, for example, will it vibrate your phone? phone or play the notification sound. You can also manage channel notifications by clicking into the channel in the top right choosing the bell icon and then changing the notifications you wish to see. So for example just replies. So manage your status and notifications in the iPad app by clicking the waffle menu and choosing if you are available or busy and also setting up a status message. Again you can have all the options that you are used to. You can also manage your notifications by clicking the waffle menu and choosing whether or not you want your quiet hours on, the duration of these quiet hours and also quiet hour days. Again, you can manage the notifications and the types of notifications that you will get on this device. So again, this is really useful for managing your workload and ensuring that you only get the notifications that you need. You can also manage channel notifications on iPad devices by clicking into the general channel or whichever channel you wish to turn notifications on or off for and using the top right icon to choose your settings. I hope you found this useful. Please remember to like and subscribe to TeachBlend. Thank you.